God. Hello, this is the Provoke Prawn, and I'm here with Sir Henry Deadman. <laughs> and we're here to talk to you about the, the gaming news and tech news and space news from this week and last week because we missed the podcast last week because Henry's job keeps making him work weekends. It's unacceptable. And I keep telling them, but they don't listen. So now we are <laughs> going to be talking about all sorts of crazy things. And we're going to dive straight into it because there's lots to talk about. Some of it's well out of date now, <laughs> but I don't care. We're still talking about it because it's interesting. Mm -hmm. And I still not play Murray Versus, but Rick Sanchez is going to be in very soon. Very soon. Very soon. And yes. last night on the 23rd of September, which gives you an idea of how long ago this was. <laughs> <laughs> they said they're going to be have they released it yet you're you're more into uh, um, i haven't looked um for a while to be fair so i think they might have done because i've seen people play them so probably yes mm. so they, I mean, they but, just um, keep churning out content for this game they do they, so. it's surprising though because i i thought it was just the warner brothers franchises but it kind of just seems to be warner adjacent so or whoever they can get so alongside all the um normal characters that you get for Warner Brother and this special little guy that's that green dog thing that's like their mascot for the game, weirdly. Um, <laughs> again, lots of people. Still a fun game, still a silly game, still a cool game. Oh, my goodness. But now there's Me6s as well. There's a Me6, yeah, he's like a decoy, I think, to use as a special weapon, which is quite cool. But um, Mad. he's a very toned down Rick. <laughs> yeah, um, I don't imagine. Because um, there's a few burps and things, but most of his phrases are not in the show. Uh, <laughs> so it seems weird to go, oh, yeah, you know, it's an adult cartoon. Let's put that in a sort of kid-orientated beat-em-up game. Yeah. Um, but there we go. Who knows? There we are. That's what we're going with. Get them ready. It's all your favourite franchises in one game. Are what they going to put any of the Solar Opposites characters in there? So uh, ooh, maybe, maybe. So if you don't know maybe. already, Solar Opposites on Disney+, Plus. it's good fun to watch. Mm-hmm. It's by the same people, season, isn't it? Second, third, yeah, exactly the same people, yeah. Yeah, so it's just so as it's second, Is it second season or third season now? I can't remember. Uh, I think it's the second season. I think it's the second season. There's a season, then they made a joke about a Christmas special. Then there was a Christmas special. It was hilarious. Because he's like, you don't believe me? we definitely done it. Just you wait and see. And then literally a Christmas special came out. And I was like, this is hilarious. So. <laughs> Talking of seasons, Ooh. Overwatch 2 has new heroes to release every ultimate season. There's actually Overwatch, been a man. lot more Overwatch 2 news since yes. this story was published a week ago, yeah. including so much got wrong. a really hairy launch and a DDoS. A really hairy... yeah, well, it was only hairy because of the DDoS attack, I think that's probably what it was. Like, It probably would have gone okay, but, you know, angry people be angry on the internet, so we got a DDoS attack. So, at one point, I was 40,000 in the queue. Yeah, you were, weren't you? It it's, like phoning, it's like phoning HM revenue and taxes. Um, so <laughs> that was fun. Um, I haven't played it yet still because um, I couldn't get through and then I've been working, so I just didn't bother to retry yet. Uh, but you know, I'll, I'm willing to give it a go. It's free to play. Um, I think they reduced the amount of people on each team as well, which is weird. Oh, uh, yeah, I think, it used, yeah, I think yeah. it used to be like six a team, didn't it? Now it's like five, which seems like an odd time to, uh, choice. Mm. But I think I think most other game parallels are five v five in the sort of MMO MOBA kind of style games. So I think that's why. And they were also shutting down the original Overwatch as well, right? Yes, it's they have. Shut, it, it's completely gone. All the stuff you unlocked for Overwatch One has carried over into Overwatch Two. Mm. So all, I mean, you always had all the characters, but all the cosmetics and things have carried over. And any loot crates you had that you hadn't opened, I think I had a few because I'd got a load from um, Twitch and hadn't been in the game for ages. Um, they either carry over or you get gold coins for them in the new game. So when I log in, I will know what I've got and I'll have a look later on, maybe tomorrow. <laughs> um, see if I get in. It's interesting the way they've done it, isn't it? It's like if Rainbow Six, if they did Rainbow Six Siege 2. Yeah. Just and they just abandoned the original. Or it's 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 a fair way of doing it. I mean, the new system is basically just a newer engine and newer things, but everything carries over, which makes sense. I mean, that's why people are calling it Overwatch 1.5, because it's not a tremendous amount different. Um, I think there's supposed to be like a, a PvE mode, like a story mode. I don't know if that's actually in it anymore. I haven't played it yet. Hmm. But I know it's basically the same game, and then they're going to add extra bits in. So hopefully it'll be... 
I used to quite enjoy it. Um, once you get the hang of it, it's better when you've got friends, so you're not getting yelled at by angry people. But, um, we'll have to see. Like all games. Uh, like all games. Very angry people. You know what other games Which... better with friends? What game? No Man's Sky. No Man's Sky! I actually saw a tweet well, been... about this today. Uh... Um, just recently. Where is it? Okay, apparently <laughs> it's lost to a sea of other ones. But they did tweet something. Oh, there, there it is. So they got this Waypoint 4.0 release. Mm-hmm. And it's been released on Nintendo Switch now, which... Oh, you think how the hell does that work? But that's I've got a relaxed mode, well. all the overhauled inventories, revamp UI, okay. improved missions. I mean, it's just oh. loads of stuff. It just feels like No Man's Sky. They just keep bashing out more and more and more for it, don't they? Yeah. I think it's fantastic because yeah. when it first launched, it was a bit, it got destroyed. It, 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 it was a bit dicey, yeah. And we played um, some of it it's... quite a bit, several times. Yeah, and, and we I, played it subsequently. I think it's, it's great. Fun. Uh, and it's the really fact, fun in VR. The fact they're putting it on Switch, just like, what? How can... I mean, it's really yeah. low. It must take forever to load. <laughs> I know. It takes forever to load on PC, let alone on Switch. God. Uh, I can't imagine it. But we'll see. It's a fun, exploratory game. Particularly violent, so... Even the scariest thing in the game isn't that scary, so... Mm. See? Unlike mm. Sam Fisher... <laughs> so fish are scary I mean to his enemies to probably. his enemies yeah to his enemies Splinter enemies of freedom rem- Splinter Cell Remake will have a story rewritten for a modern day audience Ooh. but there's no whatever that means and there's no detail was... on, on the game other than that terrorists so they're remaking Splinter Cell and it, uh, right just everyone's remaking rebooting remastering yep. I just like it. Because we've, we've run out of good we, no, we've run out of good ideas. <laughs> the only option is to remake everything from the nineties because it was the best decade. <laughs> so everything from the nineties to the early two thousands we remake better and everyone will be happy for another twenty years. And then by that point, you know, there won't be anything left. Fine. We'll just you know, we'll ascend to a higher plane, it'll be great. Monkey Island's come back out recently. It has come back out. I don't like the graphics. I don't like the art style. Uh, uh. Of the new, the new one. I bought it and it's pretty good. Oh. Although, I'll be honest, I mostly spent my time watching my daughter play it rather than playing it myself. <laughs> I will play it at some point. Yeah, yeah it's got good I reviews. Have... It has good reviews and it's got a good story. I know that. It's just the graphics that got me off for a bit, so I'll make them on the sale, maybe. Give it a bash. It's only I've got £20 the pounds sterling. But... £20 pounds sterling, currently. Mm-hmm. Um, Which I've is got... a real monetary value if you watch it in America. It's probably about the same in dollars because pounds it's, it's, ruined. It's currently went up a bit and it went down a bit. So it's probably about $21. <laughs> Talking of dollars. Talking of dollars. Rockstar hacker claims GTA 6 budget has already exceeded $2 billion two years billion. ahead of launch. Two billion. Now, there's loads of stories that came out of this. If you're not already somebody hacked GTA launched video footage mm-hmm. of the game as like in its development stages which looks terrible and everyone was like oh my god GTA 6 is going to be awful but it was obviously really early on really early on yeah. Rockstar's trying to firefight that by saying well that was really early on and annoying and obviously they're annoyed because they're very careful not to release anything yeah Rockstar's always been really good about not letting anything come out until they're ready and then they release really polished stuff and uh, <laughs> right, hats off to them because there's loads yeah. of other companies that I swear, leak stuff on purpose to build the hype up, but Rockstar yeah. never seems to do that. And no. then they got hacked into, this guy leaked that, and he also sold the source code for GTA V. Someone, there was another story that came out of it. Somebody pretended that they were the hacker and sold the source code for GTA V, or pretended to sell the source code. Yeah. So they like scammed somebody out of money for ah. the source code to the game, which they didn't even have. Amazing. While pretending to be the hacker, yeah. And then, the real, hacker, a crime. And then yeah. the real hacker um, went to sell the source code and then got arrested. And I, and I think <laughs> that it was like some young kid from England, actually. Yeah, he is. Him. Yeah, he's like a teenager, yeah. Uh, yeah. And then they couldn't talk anymore about it. But anyway, the story no, here is that basically GTA has cost a lot of money, which is not... Mm-hmm. I don't think that's that surprising because it takes ages to develop and... Mm. If it's going to be, games and they're going to make loads of money anyway, aren't they? I wonder how much. Yeah, and if if it's going to be as big as they say it's going to be, or it's got like three complete cities in it, somewhere I read, um, 
you know, like the old game used to have like three areas of a map that you could get to. It's basically, I heard it's supposed to be that, but the three areas of the map are basically the same size as San Andreas. So <laughs> it's a big old game. Um, but who knows? I, st- I wonder if it's going to be 80s themed because a lot of the cosmetics of the people look very 80s on the new character models. Mm. Like her hair and his costume and his her like makeup and stuff look very 80s. Um, and even though it's using the old GTA assets. Uh, it's interesting. Maybe we'll find out. Maybe this November. Who knows? It's usually November people drop trailers, isn't it? So... Yeah, all the content's been taken down now. I was going to try and get the uh, footage, but it's all been... The footage, it's, <laughs> it's all, all gone. Been removed. They, they went for it, they did, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, they took it all down. Copy Roach Strachan. And uh, another game I'm excited for, Goat Ooh. Simulator 3. 3. Which is the follow-up to Goat Simulator 1. There's a one. third one. The follow-up to Goat Simulator 1, not 2. Just one. Yeah, they didn't have it. They're not doing it too. They're just going straight to <laughs> three. They're not doing it too. They're three. Of course Jokers. they are. Of course they are. <laughs> so, so. And there's goats in every other game that they work with. The goats are still the goat in Goat Simulator. Mm. All animals are goats. The developer told games. Why isn't there a goat, goat in Satisfactory? <laughs> I don't know. Same company. Same company. Oh, a Swedish development company. I didn't know that. There's a goat in Fortnite. But Goat Simulator 3, sadly, is only going to be on Epic, so I probably won't buy it because I'll forget that it exists. You will. You Mm. will. Mm. But that's why there's the goat skin in Fortnite. Talking of stuff you might have forgotten existed, Cyberpunk 2077 has a major resurgence and overtakes Modern Warfare 2 as Steam's top seller. Yep. And that's because it got patched recently and then got loads of positive reviews because of it and then just basically yep. stormed along and everyone's revisiting it. And, and there's also, also the... Oh, yeah, there it comes. No, sorry, you. I was going to say, it's also the uh, Netflix series that's based on the game. Yes. Came out and there's some of the stuff they put in the game is bits from the series. So you can like you can find like the jacket and guns and things that are in the, in the TV show. You can find in game now. It's so they've kind of tied it in. Well. Yeah, Edrunner, yeah. So they've kind of tied it in so you can go get the guy's like bright yellow jacket and stuff as well. Um, I ain't played it for ages. Um, I played it a bit, um, a little while after it came out. Um, maybe I'll give it a go one day. I really liked it. It was a great game. I didn't put enough time into it and I haven't finished it, but no. it was fantastic and it's probably even better. No. Um, probably even better. Just recently, they also, they also announced that they're doing a follow-up to it. Ooh. Like oh, they went mental. Oh yeah, they got so many, haven't they? So CD Projekt Red uh, has announced various different things. It was it was like oh, what were we saying? It was it was was it like two sequels to that, and then another Witcher, and a brand new game, or something like that? Yes, I think it's a lot of games. Uh, the, 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 the release <laughs> I can't find the bloody account because it's spelled as stupid it's like it's not a project it's project or something there we go project. <laughs> um, project. so they revealed here we go code name so they've got a new cyberpunk game which is currently code named Orion and that's going to be a follow up to that but, but as well as mm. that they're also doing three new Witcher games which is a brand new trilogy three. And the rumor is that it might not be Star, like might not have Geralt of Rivia basically as the main character, but it is going to be a triple A title. What's Henry Cavill? But then they're do? also getting other bits of it. So they've got a fully fetched Witcher game, which is separate to the new Witcher saga. So they've got these three games, uh-huh. but it's, and it's being developed by an external studio. Which sounds like a terrible uh-huh. idea. Based on you know what <laughs> happened, you know what happened with Rockstar when it re- did the uh, reboot or remasters of uh, GTA yeah, and it but... got someone else to do it, and then it just went. Yeah, but they they ported the mobile version over, didn't they? So that's why it was terrible. And then there's another one which is being made by Molasses Flood, which is apparently a sub studio of CG Project Red. And uh, I mean, and that's these are weird names for studios. I love the Witcher series, but I'm really worried about Cyberpunk that they might you do make a hash of it. But then there's this other oh. one called Codenamed Hadar, which is an entirely distinct IP, but it's basically yeah. right in the creative process at the moment. So it's like well early what, stages. What if it's a Cyberpunk Witcher? Maybe. Yeah. Like 
Like whatever the what's the place called? River River Rail? River Dale? River River Vale? I forgot what the, I don't know what the place is. You're the same words now. I don't know what you're talking. About. I think I've just got Lord of the Ring. I've got Lord of the Rings stuck in my head. <laughs> um, but what if it's like a futuristic version of The Witcher, and you get like a like a slide out sword that like that? You know that'd be cool. Mm. Are you so. interested? Yes. Yeah. So that's good fun. Um. Oh, play the trombone game. Play the trombone. This is what other people are enjoying. Have you seen this? I have seen people play There's this. It's a trombone yeah. game on Steam, which apparently looks very much like a Wii music game. But yeah, it's stupid. so stupid. But yeah, the, this is the thing. People love it though. It, it's Twitch bait, isn't it? It's Twitch bait. People love it. Is it? Yeah, because people like watching you play silly games. Yeah, and, and you just drag your mouse up along and yeah. <laughs> you just click and drop, click and drop. It's literally just your mouse control. It's fantastic. And then these random goats pop up and everything. Have you played it? No, I've watched people play it. Oh. Um, and there's lots of like real famous songs in it and stuff that you can join in with, which is quite funny. Interesting. I think yeah. they just get copyright strikes all over the place. Nah, not if it's part of a game. They sort of fix that now. <laughs> not sure that's how it not, works. It, there's, there's no, well, there's no, it's not, it's not like the lyrics of the actual song in the background. It's not like Guitar Hero. Like it only plays noise if you press the trombone. If you press the wrong place, it plays the wrong note. Right. So you have to be so in the right place do, and holding the mic. You'd have to do the song perfectly in order to get a copyright strike. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but then also, there's, unless there's a trombone version of that song that's been listed as copyright, then you're not going to get it, are you? So it should be fine. <laughs> it should. Fine. So oh, more Overwatch two news, which it was news and it isn't news. So it's news and it's now this. redacted. Oh yes. So initially, um, along with um, this, you had to agree to their terms and conditions, saying that you won't be a naughty, naughty person when you play Overwatch two, and you'll be polite and you'll be kind and you'll be nice to all of your friends that you play with. Um, and also, you had to give them your telephone number so they could record your conversation on their VoIP system um, and then ban you from your telephone number if you did this um lots of people did this and then lots of people complained and then subsequently they have now changed their stance on the telephone number so you no longer have to hand over your telephone number to play online um i think it was just ranked if i'm honest because that's normally how they do it and like they don't really care about unranked but if it's right they get angry um but now you don't have to give them your telephone number but they probably i think they're still recording your VoIP. so if you use in-game VoIP on overwatch 2 to tell me that I'm not doing my job when I'm playing Diva, when I'm actually doing my job playing Diva, and I'm at the front blocking all that phone and blocking all that incoming fire and helping push the load, then you're in trouble. <laughs> there you so, go. So it's going well. It's they've you know all hell, uh, beer pressure. They fixed <laughs> it. They changed it. It's going good. Ah uh, yeah, Overwatch yeah. is going crazy. Overwatch be crazy. Another thing that's crazy is crazy. the new WoW game or new WoW oh, classic classic WoW classic the WoW relaunch. Yeah, I keep I got because I thought I was watching a really old YouTube video when that advert came on, and I was like, no, no, because the because in my head for some reason I thought the adverts were like old adverts or it was part of the team game he was watching, but no, it's just I forgot that it was classic WoW. People for a lot of time. I mean, again, remaking stuff that's old. Um, you don't get much older than classic. Wow. Yeah, but they made it a little eighty classic, in a mere nine ranked. hours. That was the mad bit. Uh, but story. was that entirely in the start area though? Because <laughs> there's there's some people that have maxed their character just in the start area, which is super hardcore. Crazy. So so they spend like a month just doing like you know attacking. Killing balls in a forest, uh, to quote South Park, um, and then they can play the game. <laughs> um, so it's quite. I, I wonder if that's where it came from. If that's. I wonder what one influenced what. I wonder if that was a strategy before. For example, if South Park did that, and now people use that as a strategy. I don't know. But, um, have you seen the South Park Wow episode? No. Oh, I wouldn't get mate. the jokes anyway because I don't really. I never played it's sad. Well, I mean, the ho- basically half the half of it is actually filmed in WoW, and half of it is cartoon. Um, so they start playing World of Warcraft, and they get everyone to play it. And then there's some guy who comes along who's like level like a million or something, and he just kills them instantly in the start area, and he keeps killing them and killing them and killing them. Um, so they try to like 
Anyway, sorry. This is a long story. This is a great, it's a great episode, though. And if people know it, they know it. It's really good. It's a very famous episode of South Park. There you go. But, um, it's cool. Great episode. I won't, I won't go to it because I'll just ramble. <laughs> Dead Island 2 has breakable weapons to balance its over the top mentality. Oh. <laughs> Henry isn't into Dead Island. You should. I'm ne- I never enjoyed the first one very much. It falls in that weird sort of mid that category of zombie films, zombie games that don't achieve me. Yeah, which is a shame because I enjoyed that and the other one. <laughs> Just the, Dead Island one. Yeah, the, the one that we would play recently, which you didn't want to play. Oh, the one with the parkour, parkour zombies. Yeah, oh my god, I can't parkour, remember the parkour name. Parkour zombies. See, oh, is that, is that such a good game? You don't even know what it's called. They are both great games. Uh, mm, yeah, can't remember build their own weapons with like flames and electric, yeah. electric stuff, and it's just like hack and slash zombies, and then it's gonna break, and it's gonna be great. I, for one, look forward to Dead Island Two because I remember Dead Island One fondly. Talking of I things you might remember fondly. <laughs> Or you might not. Google <laughs> Stadia not, is shutting down. <laughs> shutting down. It's gone. Within, <laughs> within minutes. In a killed. surprise to nobody, Google's once again shut down another <laughs> service that people were using. Mm-hmm. And people I'm, were begging. I mean, clearly, clearly not many people were using it. If they're going to shut it down. Wow. Um, not enough people. Yeah. So it's all you I don't, I, I don't believe that the bandwidth in America is enough to support it. It's part of the problem, I think because you need really good bandwidth and connection, and a lot of places have a really bad connection, both here and America, to be fair. So unless you're streaming quite high fibre broadband, you just can't use the system. Um, so it's all very well and good having a special controller, but you ain't never doing it. Can't wait to sort the Stadia controllers in CEX now. <laughs> yeah. I sold it for 35 quid for no reason, because you can't use them separately, I don't think. They don't count as like a wireless controller. So... I don't know what they're doing. I would hope so. I remember when the, um, what was the other one that was uh, internet only that shut down? Was it Ovi? Or something like that? It was like like a small console, like a little box. Uh, It was Android. Ooh, yeah, that was it. Ooh, yeah, that was the one. That died within about a month. That was the (laughs) same one. That had the same sort of system. That was like Android games, wasn't it? Um, I think it was Android based. Online only, and then you needed really good internet for it to work because you didn't download them, you just streamed them. Yeah, these um, things are ahead of their time, aren't they? It's probably... uh, yeah, I mean, in another 10 years, probably everyone will be doing it. Um, Sony's already trying it with their TVs that have PlayStation built into them, so I can see it. I mean, you like I said, there was that, there was that old PS4 that was um, internet only PS4, like a little brick you plugged into the back of your TV that streamed online games, so. It's been touched, but I think it needs more work. Hmm. So sadly, F to Stadia. <laughs> <laughs> Are you running your mic through voice mod or anything? Uh, no. Hmm. It's a bit of a crackle, isn't it? Oh. Can't hear myself. You can't. Interesting. Um, Chris Pratt... <laughs> Has been put into, a, put into a trailer for a Mario game. <laughs> and this is a great video. Of, all these things are linked in the description, so you can check them out uh, if I can oh fit them all in because there's so many links. Look, but man. somebody's basically made Mario look like Chris Pratt and uh, made a game out of it and put a lot Amazing. of effort into it. Well, look of it. And it's, wow, that it is looks, a lot. It looks brilliant. No, it looks like one of those like adverts for those games that you try to download. You know when they get those adverts on. YouTube, where they like they pull the pins out in the wrong order, and it gets oh, treasure, yeah. and it makes you angry. So you're supposed to go, "No, I can do it better." Watch, and you download the game. It looks like that. <laughs> That's what it looks like. Uh, I think you're doing it a disservice. I think this looks much better than that. It does look much better. To be fair, the trailer for um, the Mario movie came out last night, um, and I was fully ready to dump all over it because I thought it was going to be terrible, but the trailer looked quite good. Um, I wish they'd done he, this, he though, to be honest. I wish they'd made that, that Mario like so Chris Pratt. So. Can you imagine? Yeah, if he got sucked into the... Like, if, like, if they did this, if it, it would have been funnier if it was like real world and then he got sucked into the into the cartoon world. Like, <laughs> like, like the old Dungeons and Dragons TV show. Like, you know, they get pulled in through the... Like, like Tron, when they get pulled in through the computer. 
that would have been funny. Um, and then it looked like him. That would be quite good. But um, no, they just sort of copied Wreck It Ralph, and he looks like that now. So, <laughs> but it's good. I'm interested in the movie a bit more than I would be. Probably not see it cinema, but I'm going to go the stream and I'll watch it. Definitely. Um, I appreciate the work there. It's called cool. Unreal 5, is this? Looks like Unreal 5. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, look at those shading. Can't beat Unreal 5. <laughs> It is the future. It's the future. It's the fifth. Um, talking about the future. Ooh. Sadly, Company of Heroes uh, 3 has been delayed until 2023. I think not February. another one. Yeah, February. It was meant to be another coming out one like delayed. November. Yeah. I think it's better that they delay it rather than releasing it early. But So many games are getting delayed. So, so many. What was the other one that got delayed? All of them. <laughs> Just pick no, a game. Yeah, every every game is delayed, <laughs> especially Grand Theft Auto Six because of the leak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm looking forward to that one though. That's quite cool. It's nice to have another RTS with British World War One, British World War Two people. Um, <laughs> World War One. We've got World War Two Germans and World War One British. <laughs> World <War> British. <laughs> we're heavily out. We're so outnumbered and outgunned. It's terrible. Um, <laughs> it's, it's, <laughs> no, um, that's good. Bit of Africa core. That's what you want, isn't it? It's going to be a new need mm. for speed. A new need for speed. New... I didn't know there was one until recently. <laughs> so you made this you point, should... yeah. uh, which was what game was it now? Need, for, need speed. for speed. Heat. Unleashed. Was it unleashed? Was heat? Maybe it was heat. I think it was heat. Yeah, there wasn't. No... Because you were like, oh, Need for Speed Heat is only like yeah, £5. Pound. Yeah, yeah. Need for Speed yeah. Heat released in 2019. Yeah. It's three quid instead of 59. Three pounds. Three and you were like, that's a good deal. And I was like, I didn't even know it came out. Look at it. It is a good deal. Look at it. Again. Look at it. It's got uh, mostly sure positive reviews. Mostly positive reviews. How many do you know, reviews? Do you, know, that's, do you know what's funny? Yeah? You know what's funny about this? What? You didn't know it existed. I went, three no. quid. That's a bargain. I'll buy that. I clicked to buy it. Steve went, you already own this. <laughs> oh, I've seen people buy it. Lol. <laughs> No, That's I think I must have bought it at the last sale. They just forgot about it. <laughs> <laughs> so that's how the much times. I knew about it. But anyway, if you're Sometimes into Need for Speed, to me. Need for Speed Unbound is coming. Ooh. And here's the artwork. <laughs> mm, I remember playing the one that was like the whole of America as a map. I say whole. It took about yeah, ten minutes to drive from one end to the other. To be fair, it wasn't the whole map. <laughs> But, but there was there was a representation of America on a map, and you could drive through city to city to city in a little version of the city. Um, and you could drive around. I remember driving around for a, a long time, collecting all the different collectible bits to unlock special cars, because um, I wanted like the 1950s cruiser thing. So I went around half of America trying to find these bits in the middle of the wilds of the world. But, um, so I remember that. I don't know what that was called. World, <laughs> maybe. Uh... It's a really memorable Need for Speed games. They're they're all the same, really. If if they're not open world, then they're all track based. Or if they're not open track based, they're sort of underground street races where they have like, you know, you get embroiled in a street racing ring, and it escalates wildly from there, as with all Fast and the Furious games. So, <laughs> you know, it's sort of like, oh, I just want to race my, you know, my my golf GTI around the streets. So, oh, well, now you're working for the Yakuza. Okay, <laughs> why? <laughs> like, I've already got a job. Like, no, you're gonna do these drugs. Don't well, get the police catch you. Okay. So, next story is that you yeah. don't have to wait for a Steam Deck anymore. <gasps> you don't have to reserve. Oh. You can oh. just you can just click to order. Just it, buy one, and you can get it going. Yeah. You don't have to wow. Wait. They don't have to wait forever. Like. You don't have to wait, and you, you can guess. order a, a Steam Dock as well. Steam Deck Dock. Ooh, Steam Deck Dock. So that fast. Steam Dead Dog. Steam Dead Dog. Steam Dead Dog. I love my how Steam Deck, but I haven't used it for a while. I keep forgetting. Could stream, how, how many decks could a Stream Deck Dog? The Stream Deck Dog. Uh, they've also updated it again. I keep seeing <laughs> tweets and various different things that they've updated. Three pieces of Steam Deck news. Three. 
Number one. One docking station is here. Look, oh. you can dock it. Ooh. Dock it's got it. Dock three it. USB A 3.1 ports, an USB C power wow. port, and display port, video out, HDMI video out, and gigabit Ethernet. Plug it wow. in. Turn it on. Use it on your television or something. Oh, on your nice. PC. <laughs> and your television. Show your friends. Impress your wife at a funeral. What? <laughs> Impress your wife at a funeral? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How are you going to do that? <laughs> I don't know. Number two. Well, look at all the things you can plug into it. Yeah. Amazing. Look at all the mental things. Just you look at it. <laughs> the, the, the title is just look at it. <laughs> I wonder how many people are going to be docking their Steam Deck. Oh, I don't know. It depends what you're playing it on. Like, why would you? What? What could be the number? That's the same one. Um, no, it's a lot lots of lots updates. of updates. These are these are really loose titles, aren't they? <laughs> these are like like if one of just, just look at it, look at it, look away, look at it. Um, interesting. <laughs> so lots lots of usability access. I like it. You can adjust your fonts and sizes and at your library if you want to yeah love it japanese and chinese keyboard so i don't really understand why you'd want to dock it so you can dock it and plug it into your monitor and then basically use Me that as your pc i like what to do if the you opposite. don't have a pc we're well, streaming from you yeah 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 fair enough if you have a yeah. pc then that's fine yeah i like to do the opposite way around stream games from your pc to your steam deck then you get a better performance mm. and longer battery life so uh, that, that's superior assuming you have good wi-fi at home but it's pretty cool what they're doing with it and yeah, for, and they have said I mean, that they're working on future Steam decks as well, so it's obviously going really well. Mm -hmm. And they recently opened up the uh, Asian Japan area to sell these as well, so mm -hmm. there's a lot more of them. And now you don't need to reserve it, so they're just churning them you out. Don't need to reserve it. I like so, it. That probably right. do quite well in Japan because they like handheld consoles and small things. They don't really do gaming. Yeah. Either, they like. like small things. They like yeah, they like consoles and little handheld <laughs> consoles because they don't have much room. Mm. They all live in tiny houses. You're talking of tiny so, houses, I don't know. Talking, you put this game in. No, there's nothing to do. <laughs> this is darker and darker. This is a D and D style dark of game. How's that work? It's, well, it's it's like um you choose like your your characters like you're a mage or wizard or a bard or whatever, and you enter a, a randomly created dungeon, uh, either on your own or with friends, and you fight your way through the dungeon collecting loot. But if you die, you lose all your loot. Okay, um, you've peaked my but interest. Also like, but also there's like a closing ring, like a battle royale. It's very strange. Um, so you need to fight your way through the dungeon, loot for loot, kill all like monsters that live in the dungeon, such as the classical things like skeletons and other and other people. There's also other players and other teams that you have to fight as well. Um, oh my goodness, there's a skeleton. And then there are skeletons. <gasps> there's skeletons, skeletons for some and, and spice buddies and monsters and all the classical D&D sort of style Monsters that one would find in a dungeon crawler. Oh, all live there. There's a skeleton. There's a skeleton. The skeletons can have swords or bows. They're exciting. Um, oh, they take a long time to clank. Look at it. They take forever to kill. You've got a proper melee system. It's a bit janky at the moment because it's brand new, so it's not quite ready yet. But um, give it time. It'll probably go quite good. Uh, you loot chests and pick up diamonds. You can smash pots and find jewels and coins in them. And someone can be like a wizard, so they can either buff you or they can like heal you or they can like use a spell to block people. Um, you heal with the campfire, and then you find loot. Oh, get look the loot. all the money. Look at all the money. Yeah, you can find it all. There's like a closing zone that you have to avoid. Oh, and then you um you need to find a, a grave to get yourself out of the zone and then get yourself home. That's you're back and here. amazing. Yep, and then you're back at the tavern, um, and your character progresses from there. I'm into it. And you Where can sell your wares. Well, yeah. Well, you can, you, can add it, you can add it to your wish list now on Steam. <laughs> I would do that. Right after we've done Do this. <laughs> Do it. Wait, there's Do dogs it. as well. Oh my god, this game. There's dogs amazing. and look and look and look, there's like a, a, a like just a communal area of a tavern where you can all hang out and have a laugh. So or, I'm really form a guild. I'm really into this style of game now since we part we started playing Tarkov, for anyone that doesn't know. We did. <laughs> and I really love it. And Henry didn't like it, it, but I think he's getting into it slowly. Uh, I've um, got more bubble hats now. So. And then we tried Marauderers and I uh, wasn't too keen. Marauderers. Mar Marauders. Marauders. I can't, I it needs work. That. Marauders needs work. It could be Marauders. I would rather it was, wasn't was Diesel Punk and it was more sci-fi and it had like AI enemies on the base that were more exciting, like a loose alien or mad robots instead of just random guys in the same costume you're wearing. So Yeah, I just thought... It needs more work. It's a bit janky. 
just it's it, not is very, it is janky because it's not as it's, it's brand new it's not you just it's come out new. yeah it's early i mean dark off was probably garbage when it first came out so yep um like that uh there's that other one that's like tuck off but not that's set on like the finish border it's like a survival game that's come out it's kind of like a dark off clone uh-huh. but apparently that's a bit janky as well mm. i can't remember what the name of it is it's got a name of some finished town oh this is free to play know. yeah mm, i've lost interest <laughs> free to play games are like really hit and miss because they I mean they just end up being like pay to win or oh, it's, they've not even done anything else that's not reassuring oh uh, <laughs> we'll still give it a go I mean if it's free we'll still give it a go one lose, day but... it, this, this is it you can't, you can't go wrong quarter four 2023 um, oh my god I'm yeah there's a long it. way to go yeah <laughs> there's a long way to go I watch people play like demo versions pretty janky so mm. By then, we'll be fine. I'll it's remember. Also has so, the least memorable name that I think I've ever seen of a game, Dark and Darker. I mean, it's so like, yeah, it, 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 it's probably because it's like DD. Mm. And they had to find words for DD. So nerdy. That wasn't DD. Because they can't call it Dungeons and Dragons. Dungeons and Darkness. A, that's a trademark. Like, they're probably the sort of lesser sex game, probably. Right. <laughs> from right, from sex games in the dungeons games. onto tech. Tech. No, Logitech did not reveal a white Xbox Series X. This is funny because they uh, revealed this of thing with the Astro 30 wireless in the intro mm-hmm. video for that. And in the background, you can see this white Xbox Series X. And I got a comment right. on one of my videos. I think it was on the one when we were talking about um, all the different things that were launched. Mm. And someone said... Is that a what? Is that a white Xbox Series X? And I don't know anything about Xbox or PlayStation, so I, was like, I don't know. <laughs> is that a big deal that there's a white one? I don't know. Yeah. But apparently, that isn't a white one. Logitech just skinned oh. it just for the purposes of that video because they wanted everything to be white. <laughs> no. <laughs> but that I made people it. like freak out. Oh my god! Logitech's just revealed a new Xbox. <laughs> That's funny. why would Logitech do it? Like, why would? What they don't even have shared peripherals, do they yet? So... <laughs> Like if they were like, oh, we're bringing out a new set of keyboard and mouse that works with consoles. <laughs> then in the background, suddenly there's one. It makes sense. But yeah. <laughs> silly people. Silly people. Talking about silly people. Talking about silly people. Dad. <laughs> TikTok users can now download comments with a new dislike button. <gasps> did you put this in? Oh, did I put this in. I did put this in. You didn't. Cause I didn't. Cause my oh. comments would often get downvoted, probably. <laughs> There you go. I'm, and he's not pleased. I have a very short temper. I have a very short temper to some people. Um, and they're horrible clickbait. Mm. So there you go. Downvoting is bad, okay? So is TikTok. Mm-hmm. <laughs> TikTok's great. To be fair, I've not looked at it for a very long time. Um, oh, okay. The next story on the list myself. is about Intel Arc A770 graphics cards reviews coming in soon. And that's, oh, well, and that's well happened. They're, they're Finally. Out. People have got them. Apparently, I can't get one. Sad because you can't get one. Samples. It's not famous enough. It's, it's not, not Linus. Not famous enough yet. But it's not Linus. I think the reviews are kind of uh, hit and miss. The so oh. consensus is that they're very affordable, which is what it, which is what interesting. So in, Intel's basically <clears> going down the route of making graphics cards more affordable, so they won't be right. as high end as Nvidia's forty ninety. They're not going for like mm. the top end. They're going no. for reasonable okay. competition so the, the okay. their flagship as it is currently is the a770 which is going to compete roughly with the 3060 and 3070 from nvidia but at a much lower price i think okay. i can't remember the exact dollar amount but something like 300 dollars or 280 dollars or something like that so it's really right. affordable but will so, deliver comparable performance uh and at 1440p um, right. and 1080p will do really well but the problem is in some older games like CSGO and other things that run older versions for DirectX mm. so DirectX 9 and 10 I think are problems and because they can't, because the way technology works they have to use some sort of simulation for, for older versions of DirectX if so if you're buying an Intel card and you play old games you're going to have trouble, if you're buying an Intel card and you're playing new games <laughs> And you'll, you'll have a great time. That is basically the, the consensus on it. And I see. 
oh, okay, there's a story here, which actually says, there's two stories in this document, but uh, A7 Seventy, $329 and available in a few days. So from the 12th. And I think it's great. Even if it even if it isn't as good as NVIDIA's, the fact that Intel's going in on it, because there was like wavering mm. stories about, oh, we're not going to do it. Oh, they are going to do it. Oh, they're not going to do it. Because uh, they were going to not put, they were going to pull it and then they weren't because they were getting bad reviews on the other ones because they actually revealed it. The other thing is NVIDIA does their releases. So they, they they came out with a 49C graphics card, which is their flagship of the new series. And that's like, this is what we're doing. And then slowly but surely they'll release all the other ones. So at some point we'll end up with a 4060 or whatever. <laughs> Intel went it the other way and they actually started from the bottom up. So they released their most rubbish card. <laughs> Or the but but the budget card first, and now they're now they're showing off the flagship. So when it first hit, everyone was like, "Oh, this is a bit naff," but now it's like this is the flagship, but it's also cheaper than Nvidia's cards by loads. Um, so that is interesting. I think it's good there'll be competition, and then they'll be more affordable, and hopefully, it'll knock the prices down on everything. Mm. And talking of competition, Razer has is joining the handheld streaming console <laughs> wars. And this is going to be announced at RazorCon, which is happening. There's so much happening at the moment. I can't remember what the date of RazorCon is. It's, it's something. It's October 15th. So on, on the 15th of October, Razor is going to be officially revealing the Razer Edge 5G, which in fairness has a slightly better name than Logitech's gaming handheld console. <laughs> Logitech G Cloud Gaming Handheld Console, which is a terrible name for a product. Yes. But they're calling it the Razer Edge 5G, which in fairness could also be a phone. Yeah, it sounds like a phone. <laughs> but it's Android the Razer based. is there. Well, no. It's Android based and it's going to use Qualcomm technology and it will have the advantage over the Logitech, which only does Wi Fi connectivity for cloud gaming because it will uh, use 5G as well. So, you will, in theory, it, we, do, we don't know anything more than that, but we do know that they're working with uh, Verizon and Qualcomm in America to release a 5G version of it. And that will obviously mean you can play games uh, from the cloud while you're out and so about. And they did have so a previous dev kit. So there's a dev kit version. In fact, I think... So this picture here is from the development kit, yeah. which was shown off last November, which looks like a bit of a chunky beast. Not a very mm. not a very pretty thing. Yeah. Um, yeah, there's some bits of it in here in the Qualcomm so story. So it's 5G. You're going to need a contract to use it outside. I guess, yeah. I guess you will need, yeah. So it's a bit like the Nokia N-Gage. I don't know. Because that was a gaming phone. But if you're interested in playing hmm. cloud-based games while you're out and about, so I guess if you're on a plane or a train or oh, in yeah. an Uber or in a <laughs> self-driving Tesla, I don't know. Um, or, uh, yep. There's going to be horseback. There's going to be things. So loads Doesn't of people. So while Stadia is dying off, yeah, these other services are launching. Because you have to stay indoors for Stadia. You might have rubbish Wi-Fi indoors, but when you go outside, you go to Starbucks. But yeah, well, so we're interested to see what happens here. Uh, yeah, Razor yeah. said that I might get a review device on this, so we'll see how that goes. Oh, mm. So I'm big enough there, eh? Big enough there. Yeah, Logitech. <laughs> um. <laughs> Hi. Oh, what's going on there? Uh, our oh. original Oculus headset is getting MetaQuest 2 hand tracking. There's actually oh. a few... Do they oh. have the cameras for it? Yeah, it like yeah. Sense? So okay. they're just doing software updating. Yeah, they've got the hand pass-through thing and be able to do that hand tracking on there. Mm. So that's pretty cool that they're updating that. But also yeah. other interesting news is that the MetaQuest 3 has potentially been leaked. So there's oh. this guy, this guy who has one of those faces. Um <laughs> Right. Look at him! Look at him, though. One of them. <laughs> look one at his of them. face. Uh, one um, of them. <laughs> young people. And, he, <laughs> uh, and he's called. Sadly, it's Bradley, which get, just suits his face perfectly. And he is talking about um, the these these wonderful CAD designs of the MetaQuest Three, because apparently they've launched. And it shows right. the design of it and various things. To be fair, the, the video is worth watching. It's on this page as well. It's 18 mm -hmm. minutes long, but it goes into a lot of detail uh, on what... Do you got shirt off? No, it's a tie, don't oh. I? <laughs> oh, I just like skin colour from this angle, sorry. 
Oh, yeah, fair enough. Carry on. <laughs> there you go. I want to find it. Oh, no, it isn't. It's, it's floral. So my bad. Oh, it's, it's, oh. it's very flowery. Ne- neither of us can see. <laughs> Um, but so this is interesting because the MetaQuest 3 is coming potentially. It might get announced at MetaConnect, which is happening next week on the 11th, I think. Uh, Monday or Tuesday. Um, Tuesday. And it might or it might not because the MetaQuest Pro, which is also coming, mm-hmm. but seems to be like a step above the meta quest so it's like going to be wired pcr pcvr or mm-hmm. fancier it is going to get announced but then they're also working on this quest 3 apparently which is going to be right. mixed reality and has various yeah. different things in it including pancake lenses and slightly different design and other things it seems like it's going to be pretty interesting uh, but it also seems like they'll probably be both both more expensive but then there's also more competition in the market as well because there's this pico f- Four headset, which is re- released by Byte Dance, I think, which is somehow related to TikTok, I believe. Um, <laughs> Maybe sounds like it. So, so there's loads of stuff happening, but it's got. It looks like a bit of a Quest ripoff <laughs> in some ways. Uh, but I suppose so. Some of, a lot of the headsets all look very. But to be, to be fair, though, I mean, yeah, it's 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 a visor with cameras on the outside. There's nothing much you can do. So uh, talking of that, so it's all kicking off in the. Um, it's all kicking off VR. in the VR space because the other thing Big, big is, the VR wars have. Is the other thing is HTC has oh. posted this. So oh. go small or go home. And then they've just got oh. what looks like so, the lens of the Oh. <laughs> At least that's why I saw oh. it. And then someone else did this. <laughs> Where yeah. they cranked up the brightness and then the corner, yeah. in the corner it says nice try. <laughs> There's a thumbs up. But there's interestingly That's... like some what looks like obfuscated text along the bottom and side. Yeah. I can't read it, but so yeah. they're doing something and they're all harping on about how mm. they've done all these things recently, the Divive Pro 2 and then the Vive Focus 3, which was like a business mm. VI, etc. It was kind of like the Quest, but it was a lot more expensive. And yeah. I remember when they revealed it, I thought, oh, they're doing a Quest competitor. And then they're like, no, it's right. business and it's $800 and, uh, you know, your average person. So many business it. ones, but yeah. Yeah, and it didn't make sense because it was like it was better than the Quest Two, but they weren't releasing it to consumers. And they're missing a point there. But they said yeah. they couldn't price it at the same level where it would be competitive enough because it's basically twice as much. Fair money. enough. Fair enough. Um, so they ended up businesses instead. But now, then they did the Vive uh, Flow, which is like a cinema headset more than a VR headset. Mm-hmm. So you're just basically wearing goggles at home to watch Netflix. And I haven't seen that, but it sounded a bit naff. And then this, whatever this is. And I mm. personally think, I feel like that looks like sunglasses. Um, so maybe they're doing a collaboration a with Ray-Ban or something. I don't know. Maybe. Or like a, like a AR glasses. Yeah, I don't know. It'd be interesting to see, though. But mm. they haven't really said when we'll find out more about that. There's no. nothing about it. But it seems like everyone's announcing VR stuff at the moment. Yeah. Christmas, what do you call it? Yeah. That's a crazy time of year. And crazy time of year. It, did you put this in? I didn't. Oh, God. Okay, they're all me this week. I don't, I don't know nothing Someone. about it apart from this. Here's the headline. Um, Amazon wants you to have a robot oh. in your house. They, they I'd just, like a robot. Did some of this before. Yeah, but then you're just going to skip. I mean, I suppose. So a story from, about Henry is he buys from Amazon so much they think he deserves a business account. <laughs> they do. They keep <laughs> offering it. Uh, would you like a business account? No. So they'd probably love just, it if just, you had a robot in your house. They, they would like, love oh. it. If, they'd be no. Okay, he doesn't have a business. He's just mental. Um, <laughs> he just re- buys a lot of stuff Warhammer adjacent that <laughs> requires industrial amounts of things. Mm. So there we go. Okay. My dog would hate that. She would fight that. To the <laughs> she would chase it around the house and shout at it all day. <laughs> yeah. She hates. It, so she can't come into our house. So. But it's cute. It's mad. Most ro- most robots are cute. Until the uprising so, starts. So, I mean, you just got to be friends with them. I keep saying thank you to Google just in case. <laughs> okay, I found a story that's definitely yours. Yeah, it is. There's mine. You're going to hate this. I know. I can tell because you hate cars like this. Um, <laughs> but I love it. It looks amazing. This is the Citroen Ollie, And it's like a very small Humvee. But 
all electric and angled and shiny and exciting. Look at it, isn't it fancy? I love it. Um, we can click through the click through the pictures. It's got like collapsible sections and plugins everywhere. Apparently, you can sit on the roof and find out where you're going instead of using Google Maps like a normal person. But um, I love it. I love the look of it. I love the design of it. Yeah, I know it's weird, isn't it? It's because it's it's Citroen are going down this route of electric cars that are really cheap and unfurnished. So like That's they they brought out. Off. Who's yeah, gonna, I don't know who's going to do that. It's just, just, I, just I, I, sit on the roof. Uh, they're French, aren't they? What they do, you know, they all do weird stuff. But um, but they're going down this route of these kind of really bold but incredibly basic plastic boxes that are basically cool cars because the Citroen Ami. It looks like the Ami, made out of Lego. Is, yeah, I know, but I love it. It looks really. I love the design of it. It's just it's so much better than another SUV or another angled shoe trainer thing. So. I like it. Look at all the boxes um, you can put in the back. Like, look at how much room there is. You could do deliveries in it. You could run a business. So that, like, right, that's, so that's the Ami, the one next to it, the little one. And that is, you could rent that. You can hire, no, you can do take that out for £20 a month. It's a £6,000 car that goes 50 miles and only does 30 miles an hour. Oh. And it's literally, it's literally just a little city car. It's supposed, it's supposed to be one of those sort of sans license cars they have in France where you, you, know, you don't have your license set, but you can still rent the car because apparently that's the thing. Um, it's mostly used by teenagers and people that are too drunk to drive. Um, but literally, all you have in there, you have your steering wheel, you have your console that tells you how fast you're going and your charging speed, and then there's like a USB plug that you put your phone into, and everything in the car is run off your phone, which is what you want in the world because your phone is more advanced than you than your car, and your car in built systems like all your sat nav and stuff, they're always out of date the minute you but the minute the car's built, let alone the minute you buy it. Mm. So you don't want that stuff. Um, so Citroen are going, we won't put that in our cars. We'll just have a connector for you. You can drive the car around and you're free to do what you like. And I think it looks exciting. It's ridiculous. It looks like something from like a 90s TV sci-fi <laughs> film. It looks like something from like Demolition Man. The freaking it's Power wonderful. Rangers are going to get out of that car. <laughs> it looks, exactly. It looks amazing. I love it. It's hideous. Um, I hate everything it, about it. It's hideous. It's, it's only a concept. But um, you know what? It, I think it's cool. It's got a remove to, removal, removable tool, bleh, removable Bluetooth in there. So basically, your Bluetooth speakers that live in the car, and then you can take the speakers out and take them with you when you go to the beach with your friends. Because um, you know that's what people do. Apparently, I don't have any friends. So I don't know about that. Someone's going to break in and steal your speakers, and then you won't have any. Well, maybe someone car. will break in. Yeah, someone will break. Yeah, someone will just you know take the door off because it's only plastic. Um, but you know, it looks cool. There's no, there's no thing about the battery or the range or anything like that yet. But I imagine this will probably be sort of two or three times that of an Ami. So you probably got about 200 miles range in this sort of thing, I would imagine, because otherwise there's no point in it. Um, but it looks cool. And if it's only eight thousand pounds for a Citroen Ami, and this is like three times a car, you're looking at what 50, you know, 20 grand maybe for that, and that's a reasonable price car. Um, and it'll be super light, and it'll be really efficient, and it looks amazing. I love it. I think it's mental and hideous, but I will say I that I do that. like that they're being different. <laughs> I, yeah. I, I like how crazy these uh, companies are getting with their electric cars and just doing whatever. Well, like, this, let's do something this, really well, bonkers. That's, that's the thing. Like You think all the old cars years from until recently have to have, they have to have the wheels and they have to have an engine and they have to have a drive shaft. <laughs> wheels. And they have to, they, well, you know what I mean? They have to have like the engine and the drive shaft and Everything has to connect, and it all has to be in a certain layout. So you're very stuck on what you can do with a vehicle. But new car, an electric car, it's a skateboard. It's two wheels and a flat bit of battery. Everything else is superfluous. You can go wherever the hell you want it. Because it doesn't have to connect in properly, so you can do, do what you like. I do have a question, though. What are these yes. handles about? Um, I don't know. I imagine <laughs> maybe that's how you pull it down so you can get to the engine. Um, <laughs> or maybe it's, it's, maybe it's light enough that you can pull it. <laughs> maybe it's really it's all five o'clock it's not like a strongman challenge no or well, it might be but it probably won't be that much because it's a very light car I love it 10 out of 10 he loves it send him one for it. reviewing please Citroen <laughs> I love you bonjour so OpenAI which is responsible Ooh. for Dali 2 yes. is making a jukebox thing I don't know anything about ah, this ah I've seen this I think have I used this I yet? I think you posted this, so I don't, I don't remember reading about it. I probably I might have done. Um, hold on, did I? Yes, I did because I used it. Because you know why? <laughs> I used it. I think I used it. Did I use it? Is it working yet? 
There was one I was using recently because I was trying to make a jingle. Um, and oh. I don't know. Yeah, so, wait, right, when you, you can play the music because it's all... Uh, it's like rock in the style of Elvis. And this is all complete. This is all AI generated. So the lyrics are complete nonsense, which is hilarious. Um, when you look at them, you reread them, it's just stupid. Like, if you look at the rock style of Elvis... Um, from Dossery came to the humble start from... <laughs> 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 Do you know what I mean? It's just nonsense. It's just nonsense lyrics, but it's just... It's like when, they, you know, there's all those memes where it's like, I made this AI watch for a thousand hours of, like, Star Trek, and then it and told it to write a script. And it's like, oh, Kirk is, uh, Kirk is on the bridge being Kirk. That kind of stuff. It's like that. It just makes no sense at all when you hear it. With but when you listen to it... With my O sis, with time... <laughs> At last, just... we woke up with a mind from dust and came with a friendly help from dirt but... to tube to chirp to rack. Yeah. yeah. But it really sounds like Elvis when you play it. Yeah. Um, and it really sounds like, you know, country music when you play it. It's really good. Um, and I'm really impressed with it. So um, eventually the idea is that you can just put in any sort of thing you want. It's like, I want Elvis to sing this song and it will just create it and it will do it and you can knock it out. And I think it's very cool. It's mental. Um, a bit of mental news. Mental. So OpenAI and Dali 2, mm. like this, is generating over 2 million images a day. And just for reference, Getty has 80 million images in its library and Shutterstock has 415 million. So if you think 2 million mm. per day of people just creating Dali 2 images, it's just going to have an insane catalogue of mental images created by AI. But yeah. the fact that they're doing it, I don't know. There's more and more news coming about this. I know stuff that's coming that I can't talk about, but it's oh. just like these guys are doing stuff and they're gonna it's gonna be even easier to access and it's gonna this is more and more of it. And if you're in the creative world and you're creating a heart, you're probably gonna be oh, I don't like this. And getting with a thing which I think we discussed recently, didn't we, that they didn't want mm. any AI generated images on their site, something they banned. Yeah. It. I don't think that's mentioned in this article, but I'm pretty sure we talked about so. it last week. We oh, yeah, did. Getty banned AI on its platform altogether, citing copyright Racists. worries. Sorry. What was that? Racist. That's racist. <laughs> <laughs> it's the first yeah. start of modern, modern, you know, persecution. Carry on. They'll be the first up against the wall when the robot uprising comes. Yeah. Yep. Toast in the bath. They never see it coming. <laughs> so oh, I'm intrigued to see what happens with it. It's just, yeah. You know I mean, that music one's pretty nuts. Yeah. I felt like it could mm. generate music. It just, you just say, I'm okay, Perry. I want to sing this. Okay. Off you go. Great. What world we live in? <laughs> what a world we live in. What a world we live in. A world where Google's shut down stereo, Google. but it's making a five foot long keyboard. Nice. <laughs> some reason because because fun it just, is, it google, is it google japan full screen is unavailable it was um yeah google japan yeah ah uh, say no more it's the japanese never question why they do something they do it yeah, look, it's just massive let, just let them do it it's really thin them... and it's really long nice <laughs> i cannot imagine doesn't trying to practical. have an argument with people <laughs> with this on it's like you... wait <laughs> You just have to slide I, up and down. Maybe it keeps you more yeah. active. That's funny. I mean, even, what would be funny is if it was like a perfect circle. Did you just see you that example of why, why, why it's a thing? Yeah. Like, oh, I've not got enough yeah. room on my desk because the desk is too much of a mess for all these books. But if I don't yeah. really just move people. your books. <laughs> That's so funny, isn't it? I just... <laughs> you know what? I never underestimate the Japanese. They, they're an entirely unique species. Honestly. Um... Let them, let them do it. How come it's a great keyboard? That's weird. I don't know how well I'm supposed to just start with QWERTY and then go from there. Yeah, but why are they not making it with uh, um, Japanese letters? Oh, probably because they're trying to sell it abroad. So strange. Do, do the Japanese use ours? I mean, you have to have Kai ka, Kanju, is it their language? Their text? I don't know. I can't remember what it's called. It's um, you think it would have to have theirs on, but maybe they speak, maybe they type in English. They all speak English, so. Sorry, I was confused by the next story. That's fine. Sorry. It's a, it's a very confusing story. It is. Uh, <laughs> being redirected, apparently. Google's answer to Meta videos generating. Oh my god, I can't read. <laughs> Google answers Meta video generating AI with its own dubbed image uh, video. So Imogen was Imogen AI was a thing that they released a while back, which did yes really interesting imagery 
kind of similar to Dally 2, and they said they weren't going to release it to the public because it was too good and they thought it would be abused. Yeah. And yes. now they're apparently making a video version of it, and you can see some of the examples down here. Oh. Teeny weeny, I'm going to zoom in, they won't look very good, but wow. teeny weeny little videos well, they're quite being cool. made. They're nice little gifts, aren't they? Yeah, I mean, you can see that it's a bit crazy. Yeah, but you expect that, I suppose. Wow, that horse looks ill. <laughs> yeah, it looked it like something out of a dream. Yeah. That's but the funny. fact that these are all generated by AI is just incredible. Yeah, really, isn't it? yeah. So more, lots of AI stories this week and One more day, next week, so stick around for those. Yep. One day there's going to be an AI-generated movie with entirely an AI-generated cast and script. And it's going to be complete nonsense. Maybe and we all, are in one all... already. Oh my god, we might be. Life is a simulation. Life is a simulation. Maybe me and you are just but generated by AI. Maybe. <gasps> that's, a, that's a malfunctioning AI. Oh my god. god. Uh, Quick, let's go to space stuff. This space, week's space stuff includes several yeah. stories about NASA. <laughs> Hilariously, I originally added NASA is about to um, slam a spacecraft into an asteroid as mm -hmm. one of the stories, and then it happened. So I had to tell you happened. happened. So NASA's DART spacecraft, and this is one we talked about previously with them mm -hmm. working on a way to deal with asteroids and whatnot. They're basically, yeah. basically like that film I was talking about where you slamming a thing into a uh, meteor. <laughs> I thought there was a GIF or a video of it, but apparently it's not in this article. <laughs> so uh, the, there was imagery captured right at the last second as it was just about yeah. to hit which is pretty neat so if you poke around on the internet but even then like the last second of it I thought oh that's really close and then they said oh this is the size of a human and it's like the human's like a tiny person in the corner of the picture and the picture was like from like a thousand miles away and this asteroid is gigantic <laughs> which is the difference and I was like oh um, apparently there's a 6,000 kilometre trail of debris from this uh, impact really? stretching across space now. Um, I would like to know where we've redirected this asteroid to because it would be rather ironic if we direct it in 10,000 years it smashes into someone else's planet. Yeah. That'd be, embar and that'd be, embar fight us. That'd be embarrassing, wouldn't it? They just get it. It's like, what is NASA? <laughs> sort of like, oh, they'll be looking for us, you know. It's all fine. It's got the, it's got the American flag and we'll be fine. Never mind. Although, you Although, can join in the space race. Oh, we. We're launching satellites for the first it's like time. Like Red Dwarf. And, oh. And Virgin's involved. You know, you're doing like Oh, that, so. God. More text write offs. I think it's pretty cool. More people getting involved yeah. in space stuff. We have a space agency. It's pretty quaint. <laughs> pretty cool. They've got a really cool moon suit. Um, looks like a suit of armor. It was designed in the um, early 1900s. And it's someone built it to go on the moon with. It just looks like a suit of armor with like a glass face. It's really cool. Hmm. Yeah. Just for saying. <laughs> uh I just I was looking at another story that's probably massively out of date now. But NASA rolled its Artemis one moon <laughs> rocket out of the way of Hurricane yeah. Ian. I just want to take yeah. a minute to say Hurricane Ian, this is the lamest name for a hurricane. Okay. It's terrible. Hello. Uh <laughs> yeah, they well they just go through, don't they? They alternate between each letter and then it's male and female. So poor so old like Irene Ian. Poor old Artemis One has had a rough time of it because it's got delayed yeah. multiple times because of things. Uh, they put it back till late November, haven't they? I think. Yeah. Isn't it now? I think now. So think unrelated I'm news to this, but my boy, was, my boy's been learning about space, and he was telling me about mm. how the mission to Mars is set mm -hmm. to happen in 2035, and if it doesn't happen, yes. then it'll have to be 2037 because of the way yeah. the orbits work and the distance yeah. between Earth and Mars, which I thought was interesting. Yeah. But that's not that yeah, long away, is it? Twenty thirty. There's not that long away. There's like this whole window of like getting people into space. And for Mars, it's like 20, 35, 37, 38, 40, 41, 42, 43. There's like, it's like a really good window in the next like 20 years to do it. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, and it becomes harder and harder as it goes on because we kind of move further and back and towards each other. Yeah, um, I never thought about I was, that. I was watching some video on like Elon Musk and he was saying he was going to launch everyone into space at one go and then send all the ships off and it become harder. And some was working out how incredibly impractical that will be because the first ship will have to be in orbit for like a thousand days and then travel eight months in space. And they went, by that time, there'll just be a free ships full of dead people by the time they get there. So it <laughs> really unnecessarily because he's like, there's a hundred people in each ship. And they're like, you can't fit a hundred people in that ship. And it, it's, yeah, it's just that. 
badness that's been suggested, but um, it's exciting to see. Um, I have more faith in NASA than I do in SpaceX, so we'll see how it goes. <laughs> uh, Earth is well hidden from luckily, extraterrestrial. Yeah! Apparently, because of our position in the galaxy, a- aka the back end of nowhere, um, we can't be seen unless you're looking at a very specific angle. So things like Independence Day, complete rubbish. They never find us. We're fine. We're going to go centuries, thousands of years before we come across another alien species. And then everyone will be worried because we'll just come out of the woods like some sort of, you know, tribe that's never met humans before. <laughs> you know, we'll, we'll, be, we'll be the weird little hicks of space sort of floating around the galaxy. So interesting to know. So fear not about alien invasion. But also um, we won't get or, to see any aliens. It's so sad. We won't get to see any aliens. Or, yeah, which is a shame because they might they might come and take over. They might be better people. Um, but never mind. We'll have to see. It's all simulation anyway, so. It is a simulation, yeah. Speaking Talking of which, simulations. Oh! There's been a simulation which shows you how the moon was made. Ooh. And it's really Ooh. weird when you watch it. Cause boop. Yeah, because it was like a big taken. impact. And then a little tiny one appeared. And there was another one, wasn't there? Was there two moons? And it might not have taken long. It might have happened in a very short space of time, apparently. But this is mm. what it looks like. The moon was made of liquid. <laughs> so it's nice. Very weird. Yeah. Well, it's it's because it's liquid because it's in space without any gravitational acting on it. Mm-hmm. So that's why it kind of goes like that a bit. Oh, see, I thought the big bit was going to be but no, a little bit. Of I thought we had two moons. No, there's definitely only one. <laughs> I thought I thought there was supposed to be like a, a secret moon that's like on a really weird orbit with us. No, oh, yeah, I thought so. I read that some, or is it? There's a tenth planet that's a really weird orbit that we only see like once every like thirty thousand years or something like that. Oh, I don't know. maybe it's the tenth. Maybe it's the tenth planet I'm thinking of. The way the way the solar system rotates, it, it implies that there's another another planet somewhere really far off in the corner, like opposite Pluto, that comes around once every twenty thousand years or something like that. Oh, this is interesting. Anyway, so. That's how the moon was that's, made. That's how the moon was made. Very cool. They're working out all these things. They are. It's people amazing. are clever. Yeah, people, people clever. are clever. Yep. And Speaking of simulations, this man's built the entire universe in Minecraft. I just thought it was neat. Because he's got <laughs> his really cool texture packs. Um, he's built full black holes oh my and God, star systems. Look at it, and it's beautiful. There's, there's, there's um, what's that one? That's the, the pillars of hand, creation. Isn't it? That? Pillars of creation. That's the one. Um, he's built the sun. He's built planets. Beautiful texture mod. Um, Crazy. But yeah, you know, they full on interstellar. Christa Cow. Christa Cow. Christa Cow. You can't see his name. It's hidden behind your head, yep. but that's uh, you you slash Christa Cow yeah. on Reddit. If you'd like to check that out. But I thought going from one simulation to another. <laughs> yeah. Ours is a little it's bit better nice. than that. That's what happens when yeah. you get an eye to make it. That's what happens when you get an eye to make it. That's why we think we did. As a reminder, if you want to see any of these stories, I will link them all in the description if I can fit them all in because it's a lot of them. <laughs> it will. It's a madman. He'll do it. He'll do it. <laughs> if you've made it this far, thanks very much for watching. It's been great fun as always, and we'll be back again soon with more stories of wonder and mayhem. Don't forget to subscribe to Sir Henry Deadman's channel. <laughs> I don't know if anybody's done that yet. I know some of you have subscribed to this channel, though, so thanks very much. Hope you've enjoyed. Give us a thumbs up, and we'll see you again soon. (laughs) Bye-bye. I'm trying not to hit my mic. There we go. (laughs) (laughs) Bye-bye.